Today on MTG Unpacked, it's time for a double dose of chaos. That's right, we're cracking open two chaos mystery boxes. These are my vision for how a chaos mystery box should be. So today's patrons, we have SPNKS and Pedro Villa. Thank you guys for being patrons. Okay, so we're going to roll one through three, four through six to narrow down the row, so four, second row, one through four, it is number three here for SPNKS, and then one through six, so number six here for Pedro, and we will consume the rest in future videos, and the theme this month is Innistrad, so we will have some tasty Innistrad foils here, if you have any guesses for what they could be, leave them in the comment section below. Uh, this one should be a little bit easier than most months because the theme, there aren't that many possibilities. So let me know what you think. Alright, what do we have here? We have Modern Horizons 2, Innistrad Midnight Hunt, D&D. Ah, we'll take a look at that foil in a second. Ikoria, Strixhaven and Kaldheim. Uh, let's go with the Midnight Hunt first and foremost, and take a look at your foil here, SPNKS. So this one is very much on theme. You might have noticed there's a couple of werewolves hanging around in Innistrad these days. It is the Mayor of Averbrook, Creature Human Advisor Werewolf 1-1 one, one for 2. Other human creatures you control get plus 1 plus 1 at the beginning of each upkeep if no spells were cast last turn. Transform Mayor of Averbrook. He can deny his true nature for only so long. And then on the other side, you've probably guessed this already, Halpak Alpha, Creature Werewolf 3-3. Three, three. Other werewolf and wolf creatures you control get plus one, plus one. At the beginning of your end step, put a 2-2 two, two green wolf creature token onto the battlefield. And at the beginning of each upkeep, if a player casts two or more spells last turn, transform Halpak Alpha. Alright, so the price of this one has gone up quite a bit since Midnight Hunt was released. So, awesome werewolf theme card. Let's get into it. Midnight Hunt. And the patrons get the rares, mythics, foils, and anything over a buck, along with the art cards and anything from the list. Starting off here with Village Reavers. So, speaking of werewolves, here we go. Very fearsome indeed. And a full art mountain, chucking that in. Howl of the Hunt. Jewel for Dominance. Ardent Elementalist. Dawnheart Rejuvenator. Phantom Carriage. Faithful Mending. About two bucks worth right there. Tireless Hauler. Showcase. And it's a Dire Strain Brawler on the other side. Lots of werewolves, like I was saying. Dawnheart Warden's Showcase. Death Bonnet Sprout. It's just an innocent fungus, but it turns into Death Bonnet Hulk. Fungus Horror and the rare. This is a fun one. Malevolent Hermit. Creature Human Wizard 2 1 for 2. Pay a blue, sack him. You get to counter target non creature spell unless its controller pays 3. And he has Disturb 2 and a blue. You may cast this card from your graveyard. Transformed for its Disturb cost. And he comes back as. A Benevolent Geist. Creature Spirit Wizard 2-2 two, two with flying. Non-creature spells you control can't be counted. And if Benevolent Geist would be put into a graveyard from anywhere, exile it instead. All his old grudges suddenly seemed laughably petty, so he laughed. Okay, awesome. And a Foil Ritual Guardian. And totally lost. We've got the Fibble Thip there because there was no list pull. D&D &D up next. Okay, so we have Jaded Sellsword. Take a look at that. That's a uh, Dragon uh, Warrior or something, I believe. And a Forest. Bruno Battlehammer. Goblin Javelinier. Yes, love the Goblins. Valor Singer. You're ambushed on the road. 50 feet of rope. Cloister Gargoyle. Baron of Clan Under, Scion of Stygia, Armory Veteran, and the rare is Tasha's Hideous Laughter. That is awesomeness. We'll probably sleeve that up in a second. Divine Smite Foil. 
And from the list, Lightning Crafter, a Goblin Shaman. That is truly awesome. I'm a little bit jealous, actually. I don't think that one's in my collection. All right. So let's leave this up here for SPNKS. Where's the uh, opening on the sleeve? Always a challenge. All right. We have Kaldheim up next. And I'm predicting we're going to get trolled from this pack, so you'll see what I mean. Ah, but that is no trolling. That is a signed art card. We'll take that for sure. What is it though? It is Cosima, God of the Voyage. Awesome. And a Glacial Floodplain, chucking it in. Frost Peak Yeti, Frostbite, Pilfering Hawk. Berg Strider, Litjara Kinseekers, Gold Vein Pick, Thorn Mantle Striker, Return Upon the Tide, and the rare is Faceless Haven. Along with Cleaving Reaper, Awesome Angel Berserker, Foil Breakneck Berserker, and nothing from the list. Like I said, a bit of a troll pack. Strix Haven, show us what you got. So this, I believe, that is Brainstorm. Am I correct? I am indeed. Excellent. We've got an Island, Reduced to Memory, Serpentine Curve, Biomathematician, Leyline Invocation, Eureka Moment, Team Pennant, Zephyr Boots, and Strixhaven Stadium is the rare. We've got another rare here, Selfless Glyph Weaver, another transforming thing. What's on the other side? Deadly Vanity. Actually, no, it does not transform. You pick which side you want to cast. And Eliminate from the Mystical Archives, Foil Thunderous Orator. And nothing from the list. I do remember that Orator from, I uh, was playing on MTG Arena the other day. And speaking of, did anyone catch my deck tech the other day? We did a pest deck with a fun little combo. I'll chuck a link in the corner in case you miss that one. I would uh, add to that the Meat Hook Massacre. Somebody in comments suggested that, so that was a great addition. Next up, Ikoria. We have Tentative Connection, Solid Footing, Frost Veil Ambush, Helica Glider, Durable Coil Bug, Fertilid, Boot Nipper, Anticipate. Fire Prophecy, Adaptive Shimmerer, Uncommons Reptilian Reflection, Rogren Crystal, Polywog Symbiote, and the rare is Yorion Sky Nomad. So this is one of the companions, and a Dismal Backwater, and Human Soldier. Okay, Modern Horizons 2, going hunting for, what is it, Fetchlands, I think are the, the big kahunas here. we got Scion of Draco. Take a look at that. That is pretty awesome artwork right there. And a Plains Knighted Mere, Mere Scrappling, Unbounded Potential, Break Ties, Artbound Prototype, Foundry Helix, Ghostlit Drifter, and Lonus Crypto Zoologist, a Snake Elf Scout. We get another rare here. What is this? Fire and Ice. Okay, that is not a foil. We've got a Marble Gargoyle Retro Border Foil Guardian Kirin and a Lightning Crafter. Holy crap, what are the odds of that? Two rares from the list, halfway to your playset SPNKS. This is craziness. Okay, so the other than the goblins, I would say the best pull here is... Uh, where is Tasha's hideous laughter? I've lost it. Put it on the front there. And sleeve everything up here for SP NKS. Thank you for being a patron once again. Enjoy the pulls. Okay, so next up we have Pedro Via. Thank you for being a patron. Leave your guesses for the foil in the comment section. So even if you didn't get that first one, you might be able to guess the second here. Limited possibilities, like I said. Okay, we've got the Modern Horizons 2, Innistrad, Eldraino. You probably guessed this one. I think somebody might have already on the 
internal Patreon board. We've got Strixhaven, Commander Legends, and Ikoria. Let's go like, let's do Innistrad first and Eldraino second to last. And we'll take a look here at the awesome foliage of Tamiyo Field Researcher. Planeswalker Tamiyo, 4 loyalty for 4. Uh, what is this? Eldritch Moon, I think. It's a mythic. For plus 1, choose up to 2 target creatures until your next turn. Whenever either of those creatures deals combat damage, you draw a card. Minus 2. Tap up to 2 target non-land permanents. They don't untap during their controller's next untap step. Minus 7. Draw three cards you get an emblem with. You may cast non land cards from your hand without paying their mana costs. That is awesomeness. All right, love the foiling on that one as well. So let's get into some Innistrad Midnight Hunt. And uh, are people looking forward to Crimson Vow, or are you all Innistrad out? Leave a note in the comments. We've got Tovala Dire Overlord. Get a good squeeze at that guy. And a forest, arrogant outlaw, bat whisperer, vampire interloper, abandon the post, field of ruin, fading hope, and Danic pious apprentice. So we got got a uh, showcase rare, and on the other side we got Danic pious apparition. Village watch is on the other side. Village reavers. Mysterious Tome becomes a Chilling Chronicle if you get it in focus. And Rare is Champion of the Perished. Nice. A Zombie and a Foil Startle and Magic Minigame into the Story Horror Edition. Fantastic. Enjoy that one, Pedro. I know everybody loves the minigames, don't they? And wait, I've got to do this thing. Look into his eyes, what do you see? I see a bad case of conjunctivitis and a small glimmer of crazy pools. Let's hope he's right. We have Frostvale Ambush for Ikoria, Survivor's Bond, Blitzleech, Unexpected Fangs, Essence Symbiote, Light of Hope, Shredded Sails, Facet Reader, Sleeper Dart, Easy Prey, I like the artwork on that. you got the small predator with the next one up and a huge one at the end. The uh, food chain in full effect there. Sanctuary Smasher, Parcel Beast, and Unpredictable Cyclone is the rare. Along with a Foil Blitzleech, Swiftwater Cliffs, and Human Soldier. Okay, so the Marmoset Hostess. On to some Commander Legends. Maybe he meant the Crazy Pools were in the remaining packs. That's what I will hold on to for the rest of the video. Let's see. Okay, Commander Legends going hunting for the Lotus, of course. Spark Tongue, Dragon Flood of Recollection, Ivy Lane Denizen. Dragon Mantle, Prosperous Pirates, Fire Diamond. Squad Captain, what am I skipping here? Wild Heart Invoker, Elvish Doomsayer, Azure Fleet Admiral, Opal Palace, Pirates Cutlass, and Uncommon's Vow of Wildness. Confiscate, Sifter Worm, and a rare, nice one. I think that's definitely sleeve worthy. Undergrowth Stadium, we'll get that in a sleeve in a moment. Itch Techic Salvage Splicer, Dargo the Shipwrecker, so checking in the legendaries as well. Foil, Soul's Might, a Prismatic Piper, and Copy Token. Okay, so I would consider that a decent pull. I think they're going for like five to ten bucks about now. So there we go. On to some Strixhaven. We are looking for old Norbone or something like that. One of those big dragons would be awesome. And this, I forget what the card is called. That is Kazmina Enigma Sage. Okay, one of the Kazminas. We've got a Forest Environmental Sciences Make Your Mark. Relic Sloth. Illustrious Historian. Excavated Wall. Mage Hunter. Access Tunnel. Hall Monitor. 
And the rare is Silver Quill Command, followed by Tezzeret's Gambit from the Mystical Archives, Foil, Spectacle Mage, and nothing from the list there. Okay, on to some Adreno. And yes, this does have a pull tab, so I'm assuming it's Japanese printed, so everything's going to be back to front here. We've got no table required in the arena, a planes. And stolen by the Fey is the rare. Sir Conrad the Grim for the Uncommons Resolute Rider, Giant Opportunity, and Common Smitten Swordmaster, Vantress Paladin, Lost Legion, Embereth Paladin, Garenbrig Squire, Curious Pair, Thrill of Possibility, Lonesome Unicorn, Queen of Ice, True Love's Kiss, and that is Eldraino. Does anyone miss Eldraino at a standard? I bet a bunch of people are celebrating and Modern Horizons 2. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. So we've got an awesome Gaia Drone Dehada here with the weird tentacles that's so a little disturbing. A Foil Mountain, nice. Lens Flare, still Fin Whale. Razor Tide Bridge, Chrome Courier, Rakdos Headliner, Blazing Root Waller, and a Mythic, yes, Turak Dread Cantor, Borderless. We're going to sleeve that up. And Yavimaya Cradle of Growth. Holy moly, what else are we going to get in here? Another sleeve worthy pull. And Bone Shredder, Kitchen Imp Sketch, Foil Bannerhide Crewshock. And Man -o War from the list. Okay, for a second I was expecting there to be maybe a fetch land or something. So we'll chuck these in sleeves. That is quite awesome. Enjoy the pools, Pedro. I'm thinking probably the best one for you today was the Yavamaya Cradle of Growth. I could be wrong, no. So scooping it up. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.